What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Corey SSG Live talks his video being deleted because of Carmen. Let's get it. Going on on social media. <laughs> I don't know. I can't hear shit he's saying. Yeah, it's like the most funniest shit ever imagined. Everybody talk about you and you trending and you don't know what being said. You don't know what going on. I'm like, fuck the folks. <laughs> My girl told me I can't get on social media. She took all my shit. I was like, I don't have no Instagram, no Twitter, no Snapchat, no Facebook. I barely can have YouTube. She wouldn't even let me get on YouTube, but I had to drop my video in the week. My video got deleted. I had to drop my video and got deleted. They got my video deleted. They tried to say that I can't react to it. I'm like, everybody here reacts to this video. Now they want to they wanna block mine because mine is supposed to be the truth. Nah. So I'm fighting. So if it, if it get deleted again, or everybody dies, like, I watch you, we don't give a fuck. Anyway, it is. I'm not gonna keep on addressing lies. It's dead. I'm moving on in life. I promise. The fact that he think it's lies is crazy. I promise y'all. <laughs> hey, play, um, mm -mm. <laughs> Hello Baby Hello Bands. Hello Bands. You know that song, Hello Bands? H-E-L-L-A-B-A-N-D-Z. Give me that juice. I really don't need that. That Wilch. Sure. Nah. We got anything else? It wasn't. Okay, now we got music. Um, Y'all. <laughs> you know, people always say, like, narcissist. Like, you're a narcissist for whatever reason. And I feel like people was really using the word wrong, but hell, I had to, I had to understand what narcissist was as well. And I always say that, um, that I was doing narcissistic things, but quite frankly, I don't think I was using the right term for myself. Um, because being a narcissist, you can't take accountability for the shit that you have done. And I have taken accountability for all the shit that I have done, especially if I was a piece of shit in the process. And, well, he hasn't taken any accountability. He don't know what it is. Um, and, yeah, I'm not a narcissist at all. I was just doing a lot of, you know, being immature and just wasn't in a good head space mentally. I just wasn't good. Um, but definitely not a narcissist. I'm going to stop saying that about myself. Um, this is absolutely narcissistic. He, I mean, he don't have one form of accountability. Even if he does admit to something, he debunks it like it's nothing. And man. Yeah. Uh, child, that's what I have to say about that. Let's... um. Let's get it to voice of T Rube or something, girl. Let me see what uh So Real T talking about since we're gonna add it to well, the What video. is up, So Real Gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. The other day I posted that Damari was in Atlanta and he wasn't doing too well. Guys This poor man. Nice looking brother. His mom has took to live and she shared her thoughts on what's been going on. She stated that her and the family have been fighting with this between them and Damari for the past two years or more. And it's been a struggle for them and they're really trying to help him. She stated that she will get the help that he needs and he may not be fully able to return back to him full self as far as the influencer side of Damari. But she did state that she will make sure that he gets his mental together. But you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. I think that he did get laced. Um, They said that a minute ago. I could be absolutely wrong, though. I'm just saying um, that's what was rumored about what's going on with him. At one point, he was, like, addicted to stuff. Um, that's a dope shirt he got on. At one point, he was kind of, like, you know, um, addicted to stuff, but he bounced back. He was good. And then suddenly, he just kind of disappeared. So I finally decided to speak up about um, Demar's video. I got many uh, emails and 
inboxes about Demar's video. Of course, I seen the video. Back door. Actually, what do you dad mean? Was in the video. His dad was right there. So it's people saying that his family's not there for him. They don't know what's going on. And actually, his dad was right there. So a lot of stuff that's going on, I'm aware of, but I choose not to speak of. But um, Demar is getting help right now that he needs. He has been getting the help that he needs for the longest. This has been a struggle. This has been a struggle of about two years um, since his first incident that happened in Houston, and we have been fighting. We have been fighting to get him the right help, the right medication, um, the right support system, and we did we did all right. He was doing really, really good, but it's a struggle. Mental health is not easy, and um, it can come back anytime. It just did. It just came back. And um, this we was not there for him, or his friends wasn't there for him. Let me take tell you something about his friends. His friends was there for him. His cousin, his friends, they was always there for him. They support him 100%. But there's only so much you can do, right? A person going to want to have to need the help. A person has to be, like, receptive to the help. If a yeah. person says they don't need no help and they're good, ain't nothing you can do about it. So yeah. don't fault his friends for anything that's going on. It's definitely something that they was there. I can guarantee you, I'm um, straight shooter. His friends was there for him. They was there for him. Um, you know, his family's there for him. And we don't get him back to where he needs to be. And it might not be social media, but just being, you know, every day, just normal life and normal job and just being his normal self. We get him there, but um, it's going to be a process and just pray for us. We appreciate y'all. I appreciate all the um emails that i have got from the support system we was not there for him or his friends wasn't there for him and um but just pray for tomorrow he, he'll get there we get him right he's coming back to tampa soon uh on sunday and he we have some uh people got some stuff lined up for him to get his mind you know what i'm saying back on a different you know track and um I think y'all just said that um, Biden wasn't endorsing Kamala. He definitely endorsed her. His focus right and everything else. So everything's going to be all right. Just give us some time. Then he might be back. He might not be back. But hopefully he's just going to get back to the more that we know and we love. Okay? Thank you. And let's get into Crystal and her boo, Ed. They went out last night for Ed's birthday. They went bowling around 1 o'clock in the morning, Houston time. You guys all know that is about, about 2, my time. Supporters noticed Tremani was there as well. And a lot of people in the comment section stated that it was too late to have a 5-year-old out at a bowling alley. Ed did step in to defend Crystal. And Why y'all telling people what to do with their kids? I don't understand that. Hey, friend. Kia, friend. Oh. Why y'all telling people what to do with their children? Hell, mom was out the other night, 3 o'clock in the morning, because they uh, cousin wanted them to come over to the house and have some pizza. Okay? You know, you're not going to tell me where I can have mine outside. That's crazy. <laughs> what is wrong with y'all? And Tremani, and he stated that Tremani is up late, and he tends to not even go to bed until 5 o'clock. So him being at a bowling alley with them is okay, since they would have been up anyways. But you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Oh, they just bowled the whole time? Okay, we're not watching that. Some trash, some Even if it wasn't the summer, it's a weekend. All right. Man, you crazy as hell. Not, not bowling, huh? You get carried away, boy. Come on, your turn. Let's do the time. All right. Um, we already reacted to something in the beginning of this video. <clears throat> um, definitely praying for uh Damari. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm definitely praying for him because that's just terrible. Um, y'all gotta watch how you who you be around and all that. You know, i I always wanted boys, like clearly I have a womb, so I can do something with it. <laughs> um, not have a womb, but I have a ovary, so I can make something shake if I would like. Uh, I don't, and I'm not. However, um, if I wanted to, I always wanted to have a boy. 
I don't want that no more. And don't get me wrong, girls do it too. I ain't, I'm not saying girls don't get out here and get to getting on drugs and all that. That ain't what I'm saying. Um, but them boys, they just put a different type of trust in their friends or in people they around, they homeboys or whatever. And them, them to be the niggas that'll get you up out of here. You know what I'm saying? I just, I hate that for him. And I don't know what happened, so don't get to quote me, but. Ah, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. And as far as Corey goes, girl, <laughs> love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, 